I keep looking at your eyes instead of the... About 7.38 in the morning and I'm getting ready to leave for a fishing expedition. I'm so pumped about this. What we are going to do is we're going to take a boat, go out in the sea, bring some fresh catch back with us, cook it and then eat it for lunch. Okay, so guys, I just met George. This is George from Soul Traveling and they are going to be taking us out today on the fishing expedition. We are headed to Aguada now and we are going to uh, meet some local fishermen there and to get fishing. Josh is saying there's a surprise for us there, so <laughs> I'm excited to see what the surprise is. Josh was taking us on the tour. He himself is a local, so he's from Aguada. And we're actually starting out at his house. How cool is that? Such a beautiful house. I love it. So guys, Josh had a surprise for us. He actually got us to his own house and it's his dad who is going to be taking us fishing today. Well, my name is Herman Abreu. This is the Aguada Fishing Trail, yeah? So I'm your fishing host for today. And uh, I'm, I'm gonna de demonstrate a few things like, you know, tying hooks and how you'd like, you know, kind of, you know, set up your rod for the fishing experience, yeah? So we get uh, red snappers here, we get black snappers, <clears throat> we get some Indian Ocean carp, like salmon, all this kind of fish that hang around like some rocks, cause most of the time they predate on little fish who always hang around around the coast. Most of the time we catch red snapper, black snapper and Indian Ocean carp. Okay, are we all set? Yes, yes we okay, are. Okay, so let's yeah. learn how to, uh, you know, put the bait on and everything and let's get fishing. Yes, let's get fishing, yes. This is a hook, a big size fishing hook. So I'm going to put a rubber stopper as a safety. Always have a rubber lock which you can press or oh, any any rubber stopper will do as long as it's hard so we've, we've secured the point from getting us okay now hold the hook with one hand and we pass the line this is the line this is a monofilament line and we're using a fat one just to demonstrate we go through the eye of the hook okay. yeah we go through the eye of the hook and we make a loop so you go three times or four times and then you hold it all up okay. and then you go through, you go through the hole, yeah. you go through the loop that you yeah. even if the biggest fish, yeah. you can see it can test yeah, the it's, first thing. Okay, so that's one knot, okay, that's the fisherman's knot, the tension, now it's like set. So we checked out this app called Tides for Fishing which does all of these predictions about the temperature, the pressure, the, uh, wind, the, speed. the wind speed, the height, height. of the waves and uh, basically it calculates if the fishing conditions for the day are good or bad. So exactly. we, our day is looking pretty positive right now, we're hoping exactly. to get a good catch, exactly. so let's see. These are the sardines that we're going to use for today. Sardines throughout the world, very tasty little fish. So we're going to load this up for fishing. This is called chum. So yeah. why is this chucked in the water? Uh, to attract the fish to where oh. we are we are fishing, like you know, it like. Exactly. And then this is the actual bait, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that is the actual bait. <laughs> we break off the bread. We keep making small pieces. Tear it up, because hmm. once it's all inside. And yeah, then... just open it. And we've got quite a lot in now, which is brilliant. We're trying to get the bread in. So we're gonna create chum. We mix the water in. So, a little water first. We don't want too much, we want to keep some space so we can shake that. And then we start mixing it up. Make sure you get an airtight bottle, not that you get chum all over you. It's starting to get very nice and oily. 
So we've got a surprise for all. Uh, just before we hit the road for fishing, we're gonna have something called the fisherman shot. It's to boost morale and so that you have a fun time fishing. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, so we got uh, cinnamon. Yeah, yeah, we've got cardamom. Spice. We've got clove. We've got some peppercorns inside, and a few coriander seeds as well. Cool. So, anyways, we're gonna all drop it into here with the sugar. So you first go ahead and add your spices with your sugar. Two shots of cashew fenny. Okay. So what we're gonna do this is we're gonna take a little bit on the spoon. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So you let that burn and cook. And you stir at the same time. Okay, so the cashew fenny is being infused with uh, some spices and it's been lit on fire now so that the flavor gets infused better, right? What we use in Goa is the Portuguese version which is saúd. So saúd means to your good health. Saúd. Saúd. Oh wow, it's so warm. I can feel the warmth. Spreading. <laughs> have a small sip by sip, not have a full shot. Yeah. Oh, nice. What do we have here? Right, so here you go. That's a souvenir <laughs> for you guys. Uh, so that's a small branded bag from us, from Soul Travelling. And that's a batch. So welcome to the Soul Travelling family. Ooh. So, guys, here we go fishing. Fishing, fishing. I'm just wishing, lady, look. He's <laughs> on my side. Oh, God. I have been given the job of carrying these fishing rods. Okay, so we have reached the lower fort of Wada, so we are going to be uh, climbing down and go to a spot here where we are going to fish. So guys, we are going to go there along the wall. We put the lock lid and uh, we raise it around six inches so we can have it free tighten it so yes now it's good good to go it's good to go in the water so we're throwing the chum in the water we just spread it so now we're gonna cut a fillet hold the fish down make some pieces. So you put it through the... Uh, yeah, through the flesh. Through the, oh, okay. And we keep, sometimes we keep the, the, the point uh, covered. Uh, now when you start fishing, the easiest way to learn this is to hold your hand in a trigger finger action. And how you do that is you grip the area here and your trigger finger remains like this. So your thumb is for support and your right hand does all the pulling action because your right hand is your strongest hand. Make sure you've got enough line out in the front so it swings and you grip it with your trigger finger. Uh, you open the lock. The reason why I'm holding it with my fingers if you let it go, the entire thing comes running down. Hmm. So you got to hold it with your finger as a temporary lock. Okay. You open the lock and your left hand comes at the back for a better swing. You carefully take it all the way back and now when you're, when you're Passing it like a catapult. At around 45 degrees, you let the finger go so that it flies out. So that's how you throw it out. And now, what you do is you gotta hold your hand on the line. So when you're holding your hand on the line, what you'll feel is a tug like this. Mm -hmm. That means there's a fish on the line. Oh. And that's when you pull the rod up to a 90 degrees. Oh. Yes, go. <laughs> So we put on a whole shot. Forget all these small pieces. Okay, I think I feel a tug. Okay, should I just reel it in? Yeah, give a give a pull. Oh, I can see a fish. I think I caught something. Yay! There's our catch. Success guys, success! <laughs> okay, so 
so we did catch a few fish. This was such an amazing experience, guys. So soul traveling has um, our fishing certificates. We are certified uh, fishing experts now. <laughs> anyway, they have fishing certificates and they have these cute little post postcards which we can take as memoirs along with us. Not the white side, the blue <laughs> Thank side. Thank you. <laughs> Got a certificate, guys. What what am I now? I'm a certified fisherwoman. You're a certified angler. I'm a certified angler now, guys. So until next time in Konkani, Mogasuni, let the love flow. All right. So our fresh catch has been cooked. The chef here has actually made a beautiful local goat spread for us. There was tawa fried uh, big fish, the sea bass curry, the soy, there is um, uh, the veg curry, there is veg cutlet. This it looks so beautiful. I cannot wait to try it out. Today's fishing trip has been so productive and such an experience. Now I'm going to finish off this experience with the perfect meal.